The judges are looking for a tall, light cake with a tangy passion fruit curd placed in the center. Sherry and Paul will judge the technical challenge blind, not knowing who baked which cake. Right, should we start with this one? Very clean around the it outside. Is. They've cut this from the tin well. Mm. The curd's flavor couldn't be better. Right. Now, this one's odd issues bringing out the tin. You can see the white all the way around. But it's got a nice height. The passion fruit curd doesn't have that same spike and punch. No. Moving on to number three. The fanny of the strawberry is very holiday. Now, that holds quite nicely, actually. The curd's in. It is in the right place. This one doesn't look too bad. They've got a few air holes in here. It's a great looking sponge, that, though, isn't it? Tastes good. It does taste nice. Cakes so far have been very good. Now, this one, they've covered a multitude of sins, perhaps, with this on the top. <laughs> the curd is a bit soupy, huh? Because mm. it wasn't reduced as much. Mm. This is much smaller. They didn't get the height. Not enough volume, which makes the cake more chewy and mm. dense. Mm -hmm. How it up next time? Big issues with this? It kind of reminds me of a tree trunk. It needed more curd. Yes. OK, moving on. Yeah, looks shorter. It looks a bit squat, doesn't it? It's all about those whites, whipping them to perfection. It's actually quite light, and the, and the curd is tangy as well. It's got a sharpness to it. Yeah. It looks like it's nicely whipped. It's not bad. Yeah. It's got a nice flavor, because that curd's lovely. Right, moving on, last but not least. With this cake, the first thing I see is in the outside, which is packed up. Yeah. An angel food cake with this hidden center loses the proportions when you don't have the right amount of curd to cake. 